Hello everybody, welcome down to the gorgeous La Cala Golf Resort. I'm Matt Fryer and in today's lesson we're going to be freeing up your golf swing. What do I mean by that? Let's find out. So if this is one of your first lessons with me on the channel, do remember to hit that subscriber button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any future lessons to help improve your game. Also, do check out my social media channels down below and you'll see loads of other golfing tips to help you get better this year. So I'm going to hit a shot for you here now, guys, and I want you to comment down below either answer A, restricted, or answer B, freed up. Now, hopefully, you will have commented the right answer down below, and if you haven't, this video is really going to help you clear a couple of things up. So I see a lot of golf swings like that where there's not a lot of movement other in the arms and the hands. And it looks so contorted. It doesn't look like it's flowing. It doesn't look rhythmical. It looks really labor and arduous as they're doing it. It looks like there's so much effort in to get these shots done that after playing 18 holes, it must be seriously, seriously tying. So what we need to try and do is let everything start to work as one in the golf swing. If you think of your arms and your hands, they're nowhere near as big a muscles as your leg, your torso and your chest. So if we can use the bigger muscles and let the arms catch a free ride, we should see that we generate a nice flowing, easy golf swing. So I'm gonna give you a drill now that's gonna help you do that. So this drill, I, I definitely think it helps if you're a senior golfer and you want a little bit more you know, motion and depending on your range of flexibility as well. It depends how far you can free up your golf swing. But if you are a senior, this will help you. And especially a beginner golfer as well. I find that with the beginner golfers, it is so rigid. They're trying to shut everything down because if only the arms are moving, not so much can go wrong. But the problem is if it's only your arms, you've got to move the club in a position and a direction it doesn't want to do. So this drill is going to help you get rid of that. So, like I say, we want to be using our bigger muscles to actually move the smaller muscles in the arms. And what I want to do, I call this drill carrying the tray. We're going to imagine that this is our tray now. If I just did it with my arms, I would tip everything that was off it. It wouldn't be very good and it'd be quite hard to do that. What I want to do is take my golf posture, then I want to imagine that my arms are out in front and I'm just going to rest the tray in between my fingers like this. And then what I want to do is just start to work the tray around my body in some slow motions. And as you can see this, both of my heels are lifting up. Now, in the backswing, it doesn't matter too much if the lead heel starts to come up. Now, if we think of Jack Nicklaus, greatest golfer of all time, in his later years, he started to actually lift his left heel, his lead heel in his backswing to actually allow him to get freed up and get a bit more rotation. So for you, if someone who is standing totally rigid and feels that you're trying to keep everything planted and not move it, what we need to do is feel that we're getting this side to side, well, around to around motion of carrying the tray and keeping it totally level. Once we've got a few of those swings in, what we need to do then is isolate the hips a little bit, but we still want them to move. What we want is something where the upper half is turning against the lower half. So now we take the tray and cross our arms like so, and we're gonna see that we move the hips a little bit, but we turn the tray 90 degrees and my hips go to 45 degrees. So as I'm making this movement, I then start to build in a proper finish where I'm turning up, I feel nice and extended, and you can see my trail foot now up off the ground. And as I'm doing this, I am no longer tilting and tipping anything off the tray. I'm starting to feel like it's a really easy motion. All I have to do is just turn and turn and turn. And if I start to do this, I get comfortable with it, what I then do is bring in my golf swing. And what I like to start to do when I do this is have the club at belt height and feel that I'm doing the same motion. And it'll just feel like the club's working in a big circle out behind you, back in front, out behind and around. And we start to really feel that we're getting some really great rotation here. And it's a good movement. And we're starting to see that we're getting freed up. It's no longer the tied up one 
that hopefully you answered the question it was b it was no it was a sorry it was not what it wasn't a freed up swing so hopefully you put comment a down there so we want to get freed up and once we do that then finally we're going to try and adopt this into our practice swing so the same motion and what you'll see now as i do this my lead shoulders pointing at the golf ball as i get up to the top i've made a good turn and then i'm able to turn into my follow through so turn and turn and get freed up and then we're going to take it into a shot even if you want to just hit some small shots some three quarter ones off a tee peg with a seven iron that's completely fine what we just want to see is that you're able to now get the whole of the body working instead of just the arms doing everything so good setup and then from here i'm going to feel this nice free golf swing that i'm making some good rotations and a real easy solid struck golf shot and if you think of this one that i made at the start of the video and that one i would say it's a massive contrast of what i was doing i was making a really nice rhythmical move there and it felt so much better and it actually felt a lot easier it just felt like i let the club do all the work for me there so if you are someone who is struggling to make rotation and feel that you're fighting almost feeling a bit like a statue when you are making some golf swings try this drill out start to carry the tray turn the tray and then build it up in those stages that i've gone through there and then finally get into some shots and see that you are making these nice freed up golf swings and building you know a real solid contact with the golf ball guys thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it do click the thumb button if you've enjoyed this lesson and like i said earlier don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future lessons and turn on that notification bell so you don't also a big thank you to la cala golf resort it is truly stunning here at the moment it's their 30th anniversary they've got loads going on at the resort so click the link in the um, description below to see what's going on here and also check out their channel for a load of videos that i made for them recently Thanks for watching, get your golf swing freed up and I'll see you in the next lesson.